Hi there, my name is Joanne Clark and I'm a web designer and internet marketer. Welcome to my WordPress tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can set up your own website in just 10 simple steps and I'm going to walk you through them one by one. Firstly, why do you want to build a website anyway? You've probably got something to say, something to sell or you want to make money using a website. You may have already spent countless amounts of money on various programs on internet marketing or even how to build a website. Maybe you don't have funds to pay someone else to build a website for you and so this is your way of learning how to do it yourself. You probably want to know where to start and how to put it all together. Well, you probably wished for a simple step-by-step -step presentation to show you how. I'm about to share my most closely guarded trade secrets. After all, I am a web designer and by showing you these things, I'm doing myself out of work. So I'll only have this video up for a short time online and for good reason as you're about to see. So watch it while you can. Just recapping up to now, you've wasted time fumbling about trying to learn how to build a website. You've spent money on countless confusing programs and still you haven't got a beautiful website you can be proud of. You've come to the right place because right now I'm going to show you how to set up your own beautiful website in just 10 easy to follow steps. Here we go. And these are the kind of websites you'll be able to achieve utilizing WordPress templates. Step one, select your domain name. This isn't as easy as what it sounds. You've got to really think about what kind of domain name you're going to select. I just want you to imagine that someone wants to buy your product or wants to view your information online. What are they going to type in the search engine? Whatever that keyword is should be what you select for your domain name because this will help you get better rankings on the search engines. Once you've decided on your domain name, you need to secure your hosting and your domain name. So you can choose where you get your domain name through simply doing a search online. It doesn't matter who you choose but I do recommend that you get your domain and hosting together with one supplier and make sure your supplier offers cPanel web hosting such as this one here. What I do there is click on the web hosting and when you go in to purchase it it also offers you the option to buy your domain name at the same time. The reason why I recommend cPanel it is just so easy to use. So once you've secured your hosting, you would receive an email. Now I want you to log in to the cPanel that's outlined on your email. This is step three. And I'm going to show you how simple it is now. Just hit log in with your username and password and there we have it. You can go through and watch the tutorial if you like, but you see there a screenshot of the inside of cPanel. Now we're going to show you how to install WordPress once you're inside cPanel. Scroll down, right down the bottom of your cPanel account there, and look for the WordPress installer. You don't want the one that says blog which is here hit install and you've just got to select the directory that you want it where you want it to go so if you want it in your main account you leave that blank if you want it under a subdomain you would type whatever it is in there put in your site settings because that will come up on your website Now you might like to get the installation details emailed to you so fill that out and click install. 
and all of the details for that WordPress installation will be emailed to you as well for your own records. And here we are uploading. It's been successful. You have your website and your admin login. Now let's log in to this WordPress admin. This is step five and this is where the fun really begins. There's the link there. It's got wp-admin. Type in your username and password that you've received on the email. There you see the username and password I received for that particular um, website. Copy and paste that into your login. Welcome to your new WordPress site. It's all up and running. Now we've just got to tweak it. And how we're going to tweak that is outlined in step six, where we're going to select and install the most beautiful theme for your website. So once you're inside there, go to Appearance, to Themes, click on that. Now we have Install Theme tab up the top. Just pick which features you'd like to have. I always love having a featured image header or a custom header or featured images. And here's the fun part. Go through and pick which theme you want. These are all free. They do give you options to upgrade that, that give you uh, extra features. So go through and pick which one you'd like. And of course this is just a demonstration so I'm going to just pick any one of these. There we go. I've selected my theme. I click install. And we've got to activate it now. Let's have a look at the site and see what it looks like. Click up the top there. There's my website with my new theme. It's looking great already, isn't it? Well, how are we going to edit this? I'm just going to show you some short little steps. There may be extra things that you need to, to do to your site, but this is just showing you the basics. Step 7, editing your theme. So once again, you're in your dashboard. You're going to customise those theme now. Remember we typed these things in before, your um, site title and tagline when we are installing WordPress? There they are there. So just make sure that that's what you want. You can edit that there if you like. You can choose if you want your latest posts or just a static page and click save and close. And there's some different things that you'll need to go through one by one and customize them. Here we go in this Bizway option just for this, this particular theme we're going to add some logos and I've highlighted the size there and I've just created some examples of logos I've done that in Fireworks. So you may need a program to build your images and sliders as well. Just put a little favicon there. You've got Google Analytics if you're using that to put your tracking code in. That helps monitor your site. Your first page heading now of course this is going to be totally customised to what you want for your own specific website. Your second heading. Each theme will have different options and different things that you'll need to complete as you go. Your sliders. These are the front page sliders, that great big um, image on the front of the website and I love them. So there's a slider that I've just created as an example in this demonstration. Now you might want to link to um, 
somewhere else on your site or to a special form. So when somebody clicks on that image, that slider, they link over to that particular site or page or information. There's my second slider going in with the other referring link. Just go down and hit save. You can't see save, but it's right down the bottom of the screen there on the right hand side. Look at that. I've got my logo. I've got my headings. I've got my sliders. How easy was that? Don't they look beautiful? And then you just have to go in and add photos to these other parts, the home page features. And this is where you're going to add these other images. headings and your descriptions. And as you're going through each of these steps don't forget to save each way that you do. And of course these images on the front page can have links to other portions of your site or to forms if you want them to just subscribe. Now we're going to create the menu. And what you need to do here is create a page. And each of these pages will be forming part of that menu if you so choose. So I've just created an About Us page. And you can go and customise that. Adding widgets. I'm just going to put um, some comments there in that secondary widget area. You can go through and select which widget you'd like and just drop, slide, drop and drag, drag them and drop them into the areas there. And don't forget to save your work. Okay, so we've got the basic setup of our site. Now we've just got to add some content. This is step nine, so we're nearly finished. Here we're in the dashboard. And we've logged in. Go to your pages or your posts and you can add your content in there. Here's a new post. So. I'm going to put an article in there. I'm going to copy that article and paste it into my post. And that forms part of my blog as well. And when people subscribe, these are the articles and the posts that they will have access to. always hit save once again to publish. Let's have a look what it looks like on our site. There's the post that I've just put in on my new site. And the search engines really do love content, unique content. So the more articles that you do add to your site, the better search rankings you're going to get. You can change your permalinks here. If you don't want it to be like Archives123, you can put the um, name of your uh, post as the, the page there, the URL. A 
and always hit save and update. Now I'm going to go in there and edit that because it's a bit long. Hit OK, hit update. Don't forget your categories and your tags. That will help people to find your articles according to what they're interested in. update once again. We're checking that. It's looking really good. And the tags are down the bottom there. People can comment on those posts and we can get a bit of um, backlinking happening if we want to and a bit of um, social marketing happening. And here I'm showing you how you can create a new page. You can use these pages in your menu up the top if you like, but you don't have to. This just can be um, a standalone page and if you want to um, put a hyperlink to this page, you can. It doesn't have to show up on your menu. Now we're going to check view page and this is what the page will be like. And you can see I'm actually going to use this page as a part of my menu header. So I've got the about there and I'm going to add that web design page to the menu. And there we have it there. And on the navigation bar there we've got the web design page that I've just created. As simple as that. So all you need to do now, step 10, is save and view, view your website. I've shown you how to get your domain name, your hosting, how to install your WordPress, how to select your theme and update the options, add content. So I'm really hoping that you have a great time and a lot of fun building your website. I know that I love to do that. And there's the example there. So thank you so much for watching this presentation. I hope that it was helpful. But, you know, if after watching this video you'd still prefer me to configure your website, I'd be delighted to help. If you look here at the URL under Request a Quote, please just type that into your web browser. That will um, send you to a form. You can fill out your details and put a little bit of information about your project and I'll contact you to discuss it. It's been great to be able to share this information with you and have a wonderful day.